presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to use Resi with ProPresenter 7.3. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Yesterday, as I'm recording this, um, Renewed Vision announced support for Resi, which is a company that does live streaming, but they're kind of a different company than what we're normally used to. They don't use the RTMP protocol, they use what they call the Resilient Protocol. You might have heard of them as uh, Living as One. It's the company that a lot of the larger churches use because they're just so reliable in how they do their live streaming. So today, I thought that I would show you just how easy it is to set up a Resi live stream in ProPresenter 7.3. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.3. And um, there are a few things that you need to deal with to make this work. So first off, I've already signed up for an account, so that's all golden. But I wanted to show you some of the back end stuff. So we go into Preferences, and notice here in 7.3, we've got this cool little way where I don't have to click on Preferences and then click the tab. I can just go there directly. So I'm going to click on this. Um, and so the first thing I would have to do is log in. Well, I've already logged in, so that's pretty straightforward. I, I trust you can probably do that. Uh, the encoder, that's the piece of the software that's doing the heavy lifting here. Uh, normally, for Resi, you needed a hardware encoder, which was um, like 1400 bucks. So, if you didn't have that, or if you're thinking, oh, if only we could use Resi like, away from the church for other events, this is a perfect example of when you would do that. So, this is the encoder version that's built into ProPresenter 7, and you can uh, check for updates in case... Later on, you find that it's out of date and needs an update. So you can do all that here. Um, and then you can also just click uh, Open Capture Settings and go directly to the Capture Settings over here in the Live section. So let's do just that. Um, it's actually on another screen, which is my default screen that I normally use when I'm not recording and teaching this stuff. So I drag that over. And so, first, I need to choose which screen I'm going to use. This is very similar to how you would do RTMP or recording. Then the destination. Disk means just for recording. RTMP is standard live streaming. And Resi is the one that we're going to deal with right now. So I click on that, and I can give the uh, event a name. I'm just going to type in some gibberish there just to show it. Um, then destination group resolution and audio. Audio routing, I've got another tutorial about that for ProPresenter. And then uh, Resi preferences. So let's uh, hop over into Resi and see if we can't uh, make some sense out of some of these other things here. So uh, encoder, when you first get in here, this won't be here, and you can't really do anything. You have to do that in ProPresenter. So um, on that screen where I said to log in, that's where you log in, and it creates the encoder that we see here. So that's good to go. It's stopped right now because I'm just recording locally, so I'm not actually using Resi right now. Uh, next we have events. So there are two types of events here. The encoder event, that is sending the live stream from your Resi encoder, in this case Pro 3, 7.3, not 3, that's a long time ago, uh, Pro 7.3, so that would be that event. And then a web event is where uh, the Resi servers send it elsewhere. So uh, there are basically three places you can send it. You can send it to YouTube, Facebook, or a dedicated embed for your church website, for example. So 
you can see that I did one where I had a um, an event where it started and it went into ProPresenter and encoded here and then it went from there to YouTube. So you might be thinking, well, how do I set up YouTube? No problem. You just go over here to social media and you click the add YouTube account button and then click continue to YouTube and um, you log in there. Same thing with Facebook. Continue to Facebook, you give it permission, and so on. And you can have multiple YouTube or Facebook accounts in here, but you can only use one of them at a time. So this might be very helpful if you sometimes want to live stream to the youth page on Facebook, and you sometimes want to live stream to the church's uh, YouTube account or whatever, you know, in any combination you can do that. So that's uh, pretty straightforward and uh, pretty cool right there. Um, one thing that someone asked earlier on the ProPresenter users group, which if you haven't joined that group, you really ought to, is they said, well, do you have to use extra bandwidth to go from the church to Facebook, YouTube, and your website. No. You're sending one live stream up to Resi, and then Resi's servers do the work of sending it elsewhere. So that's another little advantage of using a service like Resi. So let's go into encoder profiles. This is kind of the default profile in here, and you can add additional ones. You can also overwrite this by uh, changing the settings in ProPresenter. So while this says 1080i60 to 1080p30, when I use it, I use it at 1080p60. So uh, that just gets totally overwritten here. And event profiles, I like to think of these as kind of like um, default presets. So maybe you've got a couple of different websites that you need to send a live stream to depending on which um, which ministry you're deal dealing with. Or maybe it's the same website but a different page on the website. So maybe you've got your church website and you've got a youth page on the website. And so during uh, youth meetings, then you would want to send it up to the youth page and then during regular church, you'd want to send it to the main page. So you can set that up as kind of a preset. And likewise, you could do that for the web events where sometimes you want to send it to one social media outlet and sometimes to another. So that's uh, pretty cool here. And destination groups where you can group all of those things together. So you've got a lot of... Um, flexibility here. I haven't touched on a couple of these other things. Uh, venues and users, this would be where you could add multiple users to your account. So if you've got several volunteers that might be dealing with this or several staff people or some combination, you could add them in here. Contacts, you could add people here that get notifications if there's a problem or if there's a billing issue or something. You know, you might want your church secretary to uh, get a billing inquiry, you know, as opposed to having the tech person who would then just forward it on. We can skip the middleman and do it that way. So that's a couple of features down here. And scheduling, you could go ahead and you can schedule these things ahead of time and have them start automatically on schedule. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. So let's um, head back over here and let me go back into capture settings. And so destination group, I just had one, so I'm going to select the default destination group. I said that I can override the settings in that Resi has on the web page, so I'm going to do that right there and set that. And now 
I'll double check the audio. That's channels one and two right there from ProPresenter, and that's going to Resi channel, the left and the right channel. So that's good there as well. Um, so this is showing that everything is logged in and ready to go. And now I could just click Start Streaming, and it would start streaming to my Resi account and YouTube, because that's how I have it set up right now. So it's really fairly simple um, to get it set up, and you've got a whole lot of power here. I've heard a few people say, well, I can go to YouTube for free, or I can go to uh, Facebook for free. True, but with Resi, you can go to both at the same time. And depending on the account that you have, you could also uh, go to your church website at the same time. So if YouTube, as of today, YouTube had uh, an issue where they were down altogether, no problem. It could be up right now on my church website. Uh, Facebook, I don't know if it's true. It just seems true to me personally. Maybe other people have had different experiences but it seems like they move fast and break things on Sunday mornings a lot for live streaming. So if that was the case, no problem. It just put up a note, hey, go to our church website, and it's there. And you haven't had to change anything. It just automatically does all that. So that's one positive thing. Another thing is if there's a problem, you can reach out to the Resi folk if you've got a live streaming problem and you've got someone that you are paying to help you, unlike YouTube and Facebook where they really are not motivated to help whatsoever. I mean, they've got a couple of web pages you can read through, but that's just really not the same as having someone uh, go through things that has dealt with similar problems before. So that's something else worth noting. So that is how to use Resi with ProPresenter 7.3 and newer. It's just right now there aren't any newer ones. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick. Sign up there, give me your name and email address, and I can create an account for you where you can log in and just go through the videos in the Pro 7 Quick Start course. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.